Today I'm going to show you how to build a source of data with Spring Cloud Stream and Dataflow. All the code is at the link that you can see there at the bottom of the screen, so feel free to check it out. First thing to note about the code is that I am using Spring Cloud Stream, so I have it as a dependency. And the other thing to note is that I'm using this new feature of Spring Boot, the ability to build Docker images. If we take a look at the code itself for creating the data and sending it uh, to the messaging infrastructure, it's very simple. I have uh, here a couple of lines that will create a bank loan application in this case. And then I send that bank loan out to my output source, which is uh, something that Spring Cloud Stream um, abstracts away for you. So you don't need to work directly with Rabbit or with Kafka or with something else. You can let Spring Cloud Stream take the strain on that. How does it know where to send it? Well, I can create a destination for that. In this case, I'm using Rabbit, so it's going to create a Rabbit exchange and it will send all the information for my loans there. So building is very straightforward. Like I said, I'm using that build image feature. So um, it's regular uh, Maven command line here. And this will create a Docker image for me after it's built my code. So there we go, it's building the image. Okay, that's done. I've pushed it to Docker Hub already. I didn't want you to have to wait while I did that. So let's first of all register that app. So I add the application. I register it. I'm going to call it the loan source. It's the source of loan data. And I give it the Docker coordinates, which are these. Ben Wilcock, loan source 100. Register. OK, that's done. So now I can build a stream with that. So I create a stream. Here is my loan source in the sources list. And for every loan that's generated, I'm going to send it to a log sync. I connect those two things together, create the stream. I'll just call it the loan log stream. That's done, and now I deploy it. In order to deploy it, I'm going to customize a couple of properties here under Deployment Platform. So I click. The properties that I want to customize are the entry point. So the style should be shell. That's because I'm using a Docker image that I've built with a build pack. And the other thing that I will do is set the image pull policy to always. That's because I'm being lazy. I'm only using a single version for my app. Now that's done, I deploy the stream. And Spring Cloud Dataflow is now taking care of deploying my components onto Kubernetes for me. So you can see those starting in the background. If we go and take a look at the source component, the source of the loans, you can see that starting up here. And once it's started, you can see it's generating new loan applications. Dataflow, of course, in the background has wired that component to Rabbit. So those are arriving as messages and they're being sent to the log component. And you can see them here in the log. So that's it. It's done.